black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. Reality Temple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. This is Daku, and today I want to ask you another question. I'm sorry for laughing, y'all, but I think it's getting quite ridiculous now, what's happening. Are you disappointed in Brother Polite? And why are you disappointed in Brother Polite? I'm going to try to make this one quick. Or quicker than usual. <laughs> All right. Let me go back to something that Dr. John Henry Clark told us. He told us that we make a mistake by continuing to look to one individual to save us. There's only one thing that's going to save us. And that's us. Not him, individually speaking. Not her, individually speaking. But us. It's us that's going to save us. That's plain and simple. Whenever you put all of your faith in one individual. Akabo wa akatu. This is Daku. And today, I want to remind you as we reminded you a couple years ago on another so-called YouTube account or Facebook account that we can't fall into the teacher trap. But while we're doing this video, we want to remind you that not only can you not fall into the teacher trap, you can fall into the website trap. Now what is the teacher trap? And what is the website trap? The teacher trap is when you gravitate towards one teacher and you expect to learn all there is to know about everything from that one teacher so you get trapped in the boundaries of that one teacher's knowledge and you fail to be able to look outside of that one teacher and get another piece of knowledge here and there that you may need that your teacher doesn't have okay that's the teacher trap some of us, I've heard you say that I only study Dr. Ben. Well, how can you only study Dr. Ben? How can you study Dr. Ben and not study uh, Sheikh Antidiop? How can you study Dr. Ben and not study Dr. Scobie, Dr. Clark, huh? Ashwakwazi? How can you study one person and then ignore all the world, a wealth of information? that is available to you outside of that one individual okay so it's a mistake to say as much as I respect and honor Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad because he was the one that inspired me to get up out the bed I keep telling you and will continue to tell you it's not enough to be conscious you don't get no badge of honor because you conscious you don't he inspired me to get up out the bed in my consciousness and do something in my consciousness. You can be wide awake and sitting on your ass not doing a damn thing. So I honor Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad because he was the one that inspired me to get up out the bed and do something. But I would be foolish to believe that all the information and knowledge I need to attain, I can get it from Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad who's going on to the realm of the Agungun. So, there's only so much information that I can get from Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad. I would have to listen to and study under Dr. Leonard Jeffries, Dr. Tony Martin, 
I will have to listen to and study Dr. Scobie. Study Dr. Amos Wilson, Dr. Naeem Akbar, huh? Dr. Bobby Wright, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. I can't just study this one individual because then I'm going to be limited in my knowledge. And as I become more of an elder, I would have less knowledge to share with those that are coming behind me. But I'm not nobody special. Yaka Wu tells us that the great teacher is everywhere, everything, and everyone. Everywhere, everything, and everyone. The great teacher never tires of teaching. So where if you take me as your teacher, hell, I'm going to go to sleep sooner or later. I'm going I'm to get tired of talking sooner or later. So now you got to wait for me to become available again to teach you. Whereas if you listen and study the Akawu, which simply means universal wisdom, black wisdom, then you'll be able to tap into this knowledge and information. You'll be able to tap into the energy, huh? the essence, whatever you want to call it. You'll be able to tap into that anywhere at any time because the great teacher never tires of teaching. So am I your teacher? Hell yeah, I'm your teacher. But you're also my teacher. We teach each other. We learn from one another. Are there teachers that have more information? Sure. But this teacher may have some information that this teacher doesn't have. You can't say that you're a student of nature. Huh? And all you do is study the grass. But you don't study the trees. You can't say that you're an expert on animals and you only study lions but you don't study whales you don't study giraffes all you know about is lions and so now all of a sudden you become some type of expert sure you may be an expert on lions maybe but even that knowledge has to be limited so I can't take you as my sole teacher because all I'm gonna learn about is lions Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad, I credit him with inspiring me to act in my consciousness. Not for making me conscious, but to act in my consciousness. Because I, like so many people back then, and now, today, I was conscious, but I wasn't doing a damn thing. Huh? Wasn't doing nothing in my consciousness, but laying there sitting on my ass, being conscious. I respect Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad. I honor Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad, but he wasn't my only teacher. I also learned from the minister. I also learned from Farrakhan. Huh? It wasn't Farrakhan that inspired me to get up and do anything, but of course I learned from Farrakhan. I also learned from Malcolm X, who y'all think was diametrically opposed to Martin Luther King but there was a point that they could meet in the middle. I learned from Kwame Ture, Kwame Nkrumah, Patrice Lumumba, Nelson Mandela, Winnie Mandela, Dr. Marimba Ani, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. We have to learn from them all. Huh? I've learned from the pacifists. I've learned from the those that are aggressive. I've learned from those revolutionaries to say, pick up the gun. I've learned from those to say, we got to run. I learned from all of the teachers. We learned from Harriet Tubman, but we also learned from Nat Turner. Huh? We learned from Shaka Zulu, Queen Anne and Zinga, Queen Ya Asantiwa. We learned from all of the freedom fighters, no matter what perspective huh, did they come from. No matter how they believe we should be revolutionary, a revolutionary recognizes another revolutionary. We can't fall into the teacher trap. We can't fall into the website trap. I'm only going to go to Facebook and YouTube to get my information. Well, that's a damn fool. You know that you ain't going to get but so much information on YouTube and Facebook. You notice that the true strong, powerful, hardcore 
revolutionaries, they get blocked off of Facebook and YouTube. Yes, they do. So you need to go to websites like KingNobleBlackRulership.com if you want to get hardcore, revolutionary, unedited, unwatered down. Black power, black liberation, black supremacist, whatever you want to call it, information and knowledge. It's all you can eat. <laughs> a wealth of information, a buffet of information. Okay? You can be up all night and day, seven days a week, 365 days a year on that website getting filled with revolutionary information. So you can't fall into the teacher trap. You can't fall into the website trap. You can't fall even when you listen to music. And I used to be a musician. I got frustrated with music because everybody had to sound the same. This is the history, y'all. You go back to uh, Motown, the Motown era. Barry Gordy had a way that he wanted his the music to sound. So a lot of the music sounded the same. But if you look at people like Stevie Wonder and Marvin Gaye, who's from my hometown, D.C., they wanted to step out and make a different kind of song. I want to I want to make this kind of song. Barry Gordy wasn't down with that. But if you listen, if you fell into the music trap, then OK, all we got to listen to is Motown. Same thing today. If you want to listen to rap, I only listen to motherfuckers from Philly. I only listen to New York rappers. I only listen to Atlanta rappers. Well, you closing yourself off to all of this wealth of musical genius that's out there. All right? And we're and we not going to get into the fact that most of the musicians, all of them really, <laughs> that are commercially pushed, they ain't really talking about nothing. So we ain't even going to get into that. That's a different subject altogether. We're talking about not falling into the teacher trap. Not falling into the website trap. So today, what teachers can you learn from? We just told you that the Aka Wu tells you that we're all a great teacher at the same time. So who are you going to learn from? You're going to learn from brothers like Sarnetta. You're going to learn the positives and negatives from brothers like Sarnetta. You're going to learn the positives and negatives of people like Brother Polite. The positives and negatives of people like Sarah Sutton Seti. You're going to learn from Maurice Muhammad, Talik Ibn Rod. You're going to learn from Netterket. You're going to learn. You're definitely going to learn from King Noble. You're definitely going to learn a little something something from Brother Daku. But we ain't the only teachers in the world. There are other people in your lives right now that are teaching you things that you need to know. Now do you follow your teacher every single place and everywhere? Not necessarily. But if you got a good teacher, your teacher is going to teach you how to think, not what to think. And if you learn how to think, then you can be critical of all information. You can question anything. Your teachers ain't going to get mad. Huh? Your teacher, if he's your, truly your teacher, give me the question. Bring them on. If I can't answer the question, then I'm going to meditate on it reflect on it and try to get back with you with the answer get back to you with the answer but I'm also going to encourage you to think it's important for you to think you're not just my student you're also my teacher I'm not your teacher I'm also your student don't fall into the teacher trap this has been Daku Akabo Wakatu Black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality temple. Reality temple. My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality temple.